I'm Dr. Tom Benjamin, podcasting as tvtom.com and radiotom.com. This installment is about what you can actually expect to see with your Galileo scope. We've made this for the International Year of Astronomy 2000. We may laugh at this, but 50 years later, pretty similar tricks. It looks like a blue cloud. It's called the Orion Nebula. It's a glowing cloud of hydrogen gas 1,500 light years from Earth. 1,500 years. You've been paying attention. Let me show you something really spectacular. It just looks like a fuzzy patch of light. It's hmm. called the Whirlpool Galaxy. It doesn't look very bright because it is so far away. How far away is it? We don't have an exact distance, but we estimate it to be between 15 and 37 million light years. Notice how everything is always moving in these sci-fi things. In space, even at the speed of light, you wouldn't see things moving like this. I can do the same sort of trick myself in the backyard just by using the zoom lens on a camera. I'll show you. Here we zoom in. That's what Orion's Nebula actually looks like. Here's the Pleiades on a really dark night through this the camera. Incredible. That's pretty much like what you'll see through the Galileo scope. Jupiter and Saturn are among the best objects to look at, but they're a billion kilometers away. The light takes an hour to reach us, so you can see the rings and the bands on the planet and the moons. This time exposure photograph shows nebula in a cluster called the Pleiades, but the picture on the left from an old book is more like what you'll see. On the right is an actual photo. The Orion Nebula here you see in color from a spacecraft photo, but your eye can't see those colors. So this early drawing, the first ever made of the Orion Nebula, is pretty close to what you'd see. And they had large telescopes. Even with the largest of them, they couldn't see the colors like you get with a time exposure camera. The Andromeda Galaxy is a good example. It's our neighbor galaxy, but it's very, very faint. And this, the first drawing ever made of it, is pretty accurate. As you can see from my backyard, the camera just barely picks it up, and sometimes you can just barely see it with the naked eye. You can see it in the telescope. The Magellanic Clouds are galaxies you can see with the naked eye, but they're faint. And the drawings from the old book are pretty close to what you see when you look at them. And the camera can't pick them up at all. Jupiter usually looks like this. You see the bands across the planet and the moons. There's a photograph below taken with my camera. You can see it's pretty identical to what the old book shows you. The same with Saturn. That's a photo on the right and drawing from an old book from 1666. And 400 years ago it looked pretty much what you expect to see today. So I'll show you in the next installments how to actually find these things in the sky. So that's all from tvtom.com.